Alright, so I did a few things off camera. Um, my level went up by one, so now I'm a level 40. And uh, I bought this sneak perk that um, gives you six times damage if you hit somebody from behind with a, you know, one-handed weapon. Um, I'm probably not going to make much use of that because um, my character is not really amazing at sneaking up behind things, but uh, deadly aim. You need to get this before you get that, so that's what I really want, because I'm going to be using my crossbow a lot. And uh, let's see what else. Uh, my, my smithing is at 75. It needs to be at 80 before I can start making ebony stuff. So I'm slowly but surely getting there. I've, I've been making a shit ton of uh, My mother must be jewelry and orcish armor. Cause those are like the two most expensive things that I can make. Let's go. My mother must be waiting. So on like the I, other I side use of the that. money from the jewelry to to buy auriculum ingot. So that's how I'm able to just continually create a whole bunch of um, expensive stuff. So yeah, now we get to go to the Soul Cairn. You think a vampire would be right at home in this place? You'd be wrong. Let's just find my mother and get out of here quickly. So even the vampire is spooked by this no! place. Whoops. So she said that this is like inside of oblivion. Those things come in handy later on. Smell here. Let's try to handle this quickly. I don't think it like belongs to any Daedric prince, because usually when you think of oblivion, you think of like a plane of oblivion ruled by a Daedric prince, but that's I don't think it really that's really how it works here. So if you're carrying a lot of empty soul gems, it's a good place to go because you can just go up to those fissures and uh, extract a soul from them. What am I doing here? I don't belong in a place like this. So if I remember correctly, I think this is like what happens to souls after they get trapped, put into a soul gem, and then expended just kind of spend eternity here. Which, uh, kind of sucks. One moment I'm raising a sword against that necromancer, the next... the next moment I found myself here. What happened? You got necromanced. Okay, so I noticed my health is not regenerating. That's not cool. Health is a bit reduced, so is my stamina. Every, everything is reduced. That sucks. Everything is down by 45. Oh. Okay. Let's see, what can I... So I can't regenerate my, my health. I, I can I must be able to regenerate my magicka though, right? A little bit slower than usual. I put on my proper armor, because I'm definitely going to need it. This can give me some of my magicka back. It's not great armor though. You know, that, that might actually be worth it. I think I'll just wear that. I want to just click. I hate it when I accidentally click something. Um, yeah, I, I unequipped that. I need to 
different amulet. I sworn I had, well, I had the amulet of Talos. But there was some other one. I guess not. Okay. So there's a returning character here that you probably all want me to see, especially if you're a fan of Morwen, so I'm, I'm gonna. Definitely going to look for him. There's no escape. Okay. Look at the sky. What kind of place is this? Look at the sky. What kind of place is this? Yep's opus. So I guess you already know who this returning character is, because you know, this kind of tells you. So these are all parts of um, one big uh, book that he writes. You find them out of order, so I'll just read it once I find all the pieces, or the, yeah, all the pages of it. I think they're all just like along the road. I remember when I first played this expansion, it was really tough to find all of them. Are you alive? I must be imagining this. Not quite alive. Where'd you come from? strong void salts. I might, might, be able to use, might be able to use void salts. Here's another one. So, I guess you could kind of say this is a landmass, like a, a new landmass they made. Um, I mean, it doesn't really show up on the map, but um, it is pretty big. I knew I heard something. Both of these expansions are really meaty in terms of combat or content. Let's see, 
can I get over there? I don't want to miss any pages. What I really like about this place is that you can't fast travel anywhere. So you really just have to find your way around. That makes it challenging and fun, I think. It's not so big that it'll um, you know, like take forever to get back, though. It's small enough that it that it's fine. set it on time that time. Wait, what ring am I wearing? It's a decent ring. Do I have any better rings? Um, I guess that's my best ring right now. deserve to be in a place like this. Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! It's really worth it to find Arvac, because uh, you get a really nice summon if you do that. But you really have to pay attention while you're here, because they don't mark anything except for the main objective. go through it without doing any of this stuff, but um, you'd really be missing out. Damn it, now I'm turned around. Where, where is the path? Okay, the path is back here. Okay. Alright. I don't know if I've been in there yet. I th uh, yeah, I have. Alright. I believe so. I don't know if I checked over here yet, though. Come on. 
Yep. Definitely there. Oh, there's our back. I need to find his skull, though. This place bears at me. Wonder if I can. No, I can't mark a location on the local map. Still alive and being drawn and quartered. I think if I follow Arvac, he'll take me to his skull. Flesh on their bones. Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Zenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. People would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll play along. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly, fungus-looking things growing out of the ground. Bring me, say, 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather, before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal, if you have the husks. <laughs> You've still got it, Morven. A sail even beyond the end. That's his body, I guess. Gives me a good vantage point. The trouble is how to get down. since I have enchanted weapons. Alright, let's see, is anyone over here? No. Alright, gotta get back on the path. Five soul husks. How many do I have right now? Up 
PQRS. Oh, I guess it's under food? Or... Yeah, it's under food. Huh. Okay, so I need 15 more. A little bit less abundant around here. So this, this background music that's playing right now is composed exclusively for the Soul Cairn. I just, I know I sound like a broken record, but I just, I just can't, like, go on enough about how, how much effort they put into these expansions, you come from? and really just this whole game in general. Like the base vanilla game already has like four hours of music composed yeah. for it. The sound design, like most of it is original. Yeah. It's not just stock sound effects. the deal with that. I guess you can't shoot that out. Unless... Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay. Now there's... Okay, never mind. I heard st of the soul care, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. All right, so coming from this direction, going along this path. Make sure I didn't miss anything. No, this isn't where I came from. I, I came from this direction. south to the north. Okay, so I came 
came from there. Okay. Just really don't want to lose the path. Because if you miss anything, it takes forever to go back and find it. to know it's a lore reference um, Potema was one of the queens of Tamriel or was it just of Skyrim she was uh, called the wolf queen I don't really know why she was called the wolf queen maybe she was a werewolf I need to brush up on my lore One more. thing that I can shoot. Uh, oh, I see. Make sure. Okay. There's no page. I have a feeling that I might just have to use a guide to find all the pages. I remember this being a really difficult thing to do to find all these. Especially since I just keep taking detours, and forgetting where I am. things drain your magicka and health, or I think just your health. You could use soul husks to uh, interrupt the draining. Who's the I knew I heard something. Just letting her handle the fighting. Let's 
see what's inside this keep. Very nice. That'll teach you. Where'd you come from? This place is so huge. It's kind of overwhelming. Yeah, I'm just going to soul trap this guy. stuck in here now? Uh, no. Just need to find the way out. I think it's cool that um, you know, they kind of really made it kind of hardcore here. The way you have to find your way around and stuff. It's not really blindingly obvious where you're supposed to go. I like how they made it challenging. You see, the thing is, um, if you have people playing it like really casually and you don't want to. Um, you don't want it to be too difficult. You can always just use the, uh, what's it called? Clairvoyance spell. So I was, I was shitting on the clair clairvoyance spell early on in the game. But, uh, in this case, I think it would actually, there's actually a good use for it. Who's there? But I, I still wouldn't use it, because, uh, I enjoy this kind of thing. This getting lost in this huge place. So that's the only place you can get that summon, I think. It's not a very good summon. It's not as good as my Dremora Lord. It's all part of the fun, though. Not complaining about it. Let's see, so I haven't been over there yet. Oh boy. These 
guys are really tough. So he's got dragon bone armor and weapons. Now I'm gonna screw around with these guys. In fact, I'm just going to equip my dwarven bolts. It's really easy to stagger though. I got him stun locked. Stories about the Soul King, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's not what I imagined. I'm just looking for pages right now. It had to have been some purpose. Gem fragment. Remember this. So I could be using my soul husks to prevent this from happening, but it's manageable. taking so many detours. If I miss a few pages, I'll just go back. Right as I say that, I hit over here. Okay, I think that's where I got my summon. Just make sure... Yep. Yep, it is. Now that I think of it, I think it would have been nice to have at least to at least have a map of the Soul Cairn. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to have fast travel. Just would like to have a general idea of where I am at any given time. 
damn Akaviri Shaman. <coughs> How can I Excuse know me. To trap my soul? He's talking about Akaviris. Akaviris haven't been around for a long time. He's got some very old souls here. sounds he makes. Man, so many danger hearts. Just up to my ears in them. Oh, it's my heart. You can't have it. are back again. I haven't found Arvac's skull or any more of the pages. So is he like leading me to the general direction of his skull or what? That keep up there is ultimately where I'm headed. find some stuff before I go up there. It's taking a long time. It's probably really boring to watch me try to find stuff and just run around in circles. find something. Just anything. I can't believe I passed by everything. I haven't found Arvac's skull or St. Geob. Where'd you come from? Oh, go away. Saint Jeb is one is in one of those mist clouds. Okay, so that, that shocks my enemies a little bit. I don't know if that's really worth an entire greater soul gem. These 
skeletons are everywhere. This, this place is just immense. I can't believe they made such a huge landmass. There's gotta be something important up here. That's what I said last time, but it wasn't terribly <laughs> wasn't terribly important that time either. Um anything, something, give me something. Normally I like to just wander around and uh, just kind of take my time, you know, comb the entire soul care, spend a few hours doing that, but uh, I'm trying to do a let's play here. That does not lend itself very well to this format. to make progress in a reasonable amount of time. Conjure Wrathman is another okay summon. Not great. Pretty late, I think I'll have to stop this pretty soon. Might just have to look up a map before I do the uh, next part. So I found the summons. Those are. I wasn't really interested in finding the summons, they kind of suck. At least I found something. 
Get out while you it's the same can. person I was just talking to. Okay. the wrong shop. Note. They warned me not to go through that portal. What did I have to be scared of? I've been venturing for years and i never seen nothing I couldn't wallop. But this place, ain't nothing living here. Just dead things up and about when they should be on the ground. I can hear the bones scratching at the rocks and knocking together when they walk. If I get home, I'll hang up my sword and never go out again. How he even got it. So you had to get some trickery to get me in here. Maybe he was a vampire. Interested. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna run towards anything that looks semi interesting. That's one way to do it. Because I really just cannot stay on the path worth a damn. I feel like I have ADD. Oh, I found Sparback's skull. Nice. This will help a lot. Give me a quest marker. Or a returning skull. See how far away that is. Not that far. Okay. That's doable. Oh, it's the same place where I got it. Hello. Arvac! You saved him! His soul is free, I can feel it! He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. He's such a good horse. So, Arvac. Probably my favorite summon of the whole game. 
Not because he's particularly good at fighting or anything. He's just extremely handy. That guy's not kidding when he says he's, when he says he's a good horse. have a rideable horse anywhere you go. And he stays summoned as long as you're riding him. Who's there? getting actively worse at finding things as the time goes on, so, um... Is that where I'm going? Further out. I don't know. Okay, um... So, let's see. I guess next time I'll try to find Saint Jib and some more of his uh, pages. Till then. <laughs>